Hello YouTube. For my next video, I'm going to continue with the instructional series here. Uh, another one about Windows security. This one about the very basics of uh, antivirus software that you would want to put on your system. Uh, first off, I'm going to say that basically there's not one particular type of antivirus software to choose over another. I've used several different antivirus softwares and honestly they all fundamentally work. Uh, most important really in uh, when you choose your antivirus is how you can get used to how the features work and making actual use of it. It's not much good if you have an antivirus, you don't understand it, and you can't find a way to make it work the way you need it to work. Another one is the features it has. Some uh, antiviruses basically do everything for you right from the get-go. They run in the background. If you've got a powerful system with enough memory, it's never really an issue. Uh, if you have a little less powerful of a system, sometimes you have to kind of trim back some of its features a little bit or turn some of them off in order to get your system to run smoothly. Uh, this can be bad if you don't know what you're doing with it and if you don't have the opportunity to basically scale it back. Some software works pretty much all or none. So you need to look at those features of modularity when you're looking at that antivirus software. But as I say, on the whole, I'm not going to say one's better than another because it's really a personal choice when it comes to the user interface and they all fundamentally work. Now, the next thing to concern yourself with is what you actually need to do for your scanning. What to scan, when to scan, and how to scan it. Basically, first off, nothing beats a manual scan of your entire system. Make sure you manually check and make sure it's scanning every single file on the whole system. Many antiviruses offer this, but people don't actually ever really use it. If you don't use that manual scan periodically of your whole entire system, you could be skipping a lot of things, especially depending upon how you configured it to begin with or how it comes configured right away if you don't reconfigure how the antivirus works. There are a few elements to how this scanning works, even with, if it's used in the background, which is how most antiviruses come and are able to be set up right from uh, the, the uh, manufacturer. You get this install, it sets it up, it's running in the background, scanning things in the background. This is where you can get into the modularity and the tuning of it. You can remove things that you don't think are as effective or fit your needs as much if you have a slower system that has less resources so you'll have more difficulty running the antivirus anyway. When you look at configuring it, there's a key function, a lot of the functions people don't understand necessarily, uh, but mainly there's a signature scanning function and a heuristic scanning. Signature scanning is when you download your updates and there's a known string of information in the way that virus behaves or in its own code, usually the code of, of the actual software, the virus, that is what they use to define what the virus is. Now, that information gives you a definite answer as to what you have as far as the virus. Heuristic scanning uses a little different approach. It looks for something in a behavior or in the way it's coded, not necessarily sort of specific code, that says this acts like a virus. And it's mainly there to let you catch things that haven't necessarily been caught before and there's no update for, there's no uh, instant solution for like that. Uh, nothing already known. Now, you can get a lot more false positives from heuristics, but this is why you need to look at how you're going to use that. On that manual scan, when you're scanning everything, it's really good to use every tool at your disposal to try to catch anything possible. Scanning the background, you may or may not find heuristics necessary based upon what you do with your computer. If you do things mostly locally on your computer and you're working with software you know and sources like your own camera for photos and video, you don't have to worry about, hey, I'm going to get a virus from a picture I just took. However, if you spend a lot of time online, obviously, heuristics becomes more important in your background scanning. Now, all of this isn't going to matter if you don't keep your antivirus software up to date. Updating is very often automatic or can be made to be automatic. It may not be from the start, it may be from the start, but check as to how often it updates and make sure it is actually updating. If your computer is turned off at the time that the automatic update is supposed to happen, it's not going to happen. If you are not connected to the internet at the time that the update is supposed to happen, it's not going to happen. So you have to make sure you're actually connected to the internet 
and the computer is on in a state where it can actually get these updates. Now, that's a matter of you figuring out the configuration of it all and making sure that it's set up to do that. Otherwise, you have to do a manual update. Now, this is a, an option, but this means you are needing to remember to do it. This is not something that everyone is good at, and that's why they have automatic updating. Now, some of you may think, well, I I'm not really worried about viruses. I'll just reformat my system, or there's nothing really that's important that's going to get hurt in my system. You have to remember, as an idea of being a good net, is a net citizen, that you need to keep the virus from spreading because that's really the core of what viruses, worms, trojans, what they all do in the end is they get around from person to person. Uh, a virus's only purpose is to replicate. A worm wants to travel around and do a certain thing. A trojan wants to implant itself in order to gain access or some kind to of your system. However, many trojans have also been built so that basically they spread themselves so a person can gain access to many systems. That being the case, if you don't fix your situation, you're helping to create the problem and not fix it. So always get that antivirus, set it up, make sure you're using it in a way that's appropriate to the way you use your computer so that you can help yourself be better and safer and help everyone else be. Thank you very much. Be safe. Have a good day, YouTube.